Hi, it's Angie. In today's recipe, I'll show you how to handle alerts with Selenium WebDriver. Let's start with this basic alert that simply provides us with a message and an OK button. If we inspect this button, notice we see it here in the DOM. However, when we click on this, an alert appears, but that alert is not present in the DOM. So let me show you how we'd access this in Selenium. But first, let's grab this button's ID. Using our Selenium WebDriver object, we're going to find that button element. And we can do that by its ID. And then we're just going to click it. And this will trigger the alert. The Selenium driver has a switch to method, which allows you to get an alert. And notice here, it returns an alert object. So we'll set this equal to alert. Now from here, we can access anything on that alert. For example, to get this text here, we can use this alert object and say get text. And to click this OK button, we can use this alert object again and call accept. And that's it. We've clicked the button, we switched to the alert context, we've gotten the text from that alert window, and we press the OK button by calling accept. Awesome, now let's look at a confirmation alert. So if we click on this button, notice now we get a message, but we also have two buttons, one that says cancel and one that says OK. So let's go ahead and grab the ID for the trigger confirmation button. And again, we'll use Selenium to click that button. So we pass in the ID and we say click. We switch to the alert. And this time let's click the cancel button. To do so, we can call this dismiss method. However, if you wanted to click the okay button, that would be the accept method again. Okay, one more, this prompt alert. This one contains a text area that allows you to enter data inside. It also has cancel and OK buttons. So let's grab the ID here. We'll find that button and click it. We'll switch to the alert. We'll use the alert object to send keys. This is the method that we call in order to send text into that input field. So I'll say my favorite food is nachos. And then finally, we can click OK or we can click Cancel. Again, to click the Cancel button, we'll call Alert.Dismiss. And to click the OK button, we'll call Alert.Accept. So let's say Alert.Accept here. And there you have it. These are the recipes to deal with alerts. You call driver.switch2 in order to get an alert object. From there, you can use the get text method in order to read text from an alert. You can call the accept method for any type of positive confirmation. So that would be okay buttons or yes buttons or any type of positive confirmation. For negative confirmations such as cancel or no, then you would call the dismiss method. And finally, in order to send text to an alert, you will call the send keys method.